We're continuing our conversation or reflection on depression. And again, it's one of the things that many of us don't like to talk about, but it exists. And I've shared uh, multiple times that even I've had challenges with depression uh, in my life and had to go on medication. But I wanted to talk about the difference between sadness and depression. Sad, we all are sad from time to time, just like we all can get depressed from time to time. The difference is sadness is usually the result of a challenging situation or um, a difficult uh, circumstance that you've gone through at some point in time. And it's temporary. Sadness is temporary. We're sad in one minute and we're happy the next. Depression can last anywhere from days to weeks to months, maybe even years. And unlike sadness, depression affects every aspect of our life. It can disrupt our, our job life. It, it causes low self-esteem. It causes um, us to feel like we're unworthy. We, we convince ourselves that there's no hope in anything that we do. That's depression. You know, in the Bible, it doesn't really talk about the word depression. What it talks about is the pit. And I'm sure for those of you who have looked through the Bible from time to time, you've seen where uh, there have been references to the pit and being in the place where there's sadness and in the pit. And David, who wrote many of the Psalms, understood being in this place of depression or the pit, as well as what it feels like to be in a place of thankfulness. Listen to what he says in Psalm 42, verses 10 and 11. So I, say to, I say to my God, why have you forsaken? forgotten me? Why must I walk about mournfully because the enemy oppresses me? As with a deadly wound in my body, my adversaries taunt me, while they say to me continually, where is your God? Why are you cast down on my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. David understood that being in the pit, being depressed, even though it may last a long time, is something that we can get through or have God help us overcome. And I realize some of us may deal with chronic depression and, and we'll talk about that at, at some point and what the Bible says about that. But I just wanna be clear that when we talk about depression, it is a state of being that unless you've been through it or know somebody who has been through it, you really can't understand it. And many people think it's just sadness and get over it, but that's really not uh, not the case. Sometimes depression can last, as I said before, for years. But even though we're in that pit, we also have to remind ourselves that no matter where we are, God is still with us. And so in Psalm 103, this is what uh, David wrote. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all God's benefits, who forgives all our iniquity, who heals all of our diseases who redeems our life from the pit or from depression, who crowns us with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies us with good as long as we live so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. You see, God is right there to take us out of the pit. God is right there even when we're in the pit to help us get out of the pit. So when you go through this time of depression, just remind yourself you're not alone in your depression that many of us go through depression, that many of us deal with depression on a regular basis, and that it is a real emotion. Mm -hmm. And it's an emotion and a state of, state of being that God can help all of us through, or when we are in the midst of it, can help us be right there in the midst of it, no matter what's going on. Know God loves you, and know that God is there for you to lean on, and God is there to carry you through anything you go through in your life. Take care and join me again on our next reflection on depression. Bye-bye.